No, you haven't clicked on the wrong video. Yes, this is the correct week. I have done an intro for my last two vlogs sat here in the bathroom because I realised after the event I hadn't filmed an intro. So welcome to a new weekly vlog. We are in 2022 and I think the first thing I recorded this week may have been that our neighbour across the way had a chimney fire. Um, Darren noticed some sparks. There was a lot of smoke. Darren noticed some sparks coming from the chimney and um, he went over to warn them and then it started, a proper fire started up the chimney. They had to call the fire brigade, so that was exciting stuff, people, for our little area. Um, and I think that's how the vlog starts, so um, enjoy the vlog, folks, and I'll catch up with you later in the week. What's going on, Isaac? Can we have an update from the scene? There is a chimney fire in their house. Oh. Right there. And fire brigades are called. And yeah. Is that exciting? Kind of. <laughs> yeah, they've got it out. Everyone's alright. No casualties. No casualties at all. You see, we told them. She got all the kids together and took them straight out of the house. And what happened two minutes later? Flames shooting out the top. It really came on fire. It's all crumbling in my hand. It's been different this morning. I don't think so. No. Nothing much. Holly, Dobby, come here. Isaac, don't forget your bag, will you? Don't forget your bag. See you later on. Ready? Three, two, one. Three. You haven't got your hat on. I know. Big numped your head. Now I want my head to go. Alright. If I get a snowball to the head, I'll be used to it. My head already cold. Well, that is just a a real snippet of genius, Isaac. I'm going to. Just like, I'm not going to wear wellies because they'll make me slow. Look at the little round bit with no snow. The birds keep coming and having seeds. Need to put some fat balls out. I honestly don't think you'd be able to see if I showed you, but I'll try. The trees here. Can you see how many little birds are in the trees? Give a bit like there's more there. They're just all in the trees, just behind our garden. Because there's a tiny little pitiful amount of seed. Bless them. Oh, right, we're going to have to go and put out more stuff and some fresh water for them as well. I'm aware I haven't filmed this week at all, a couple of bits. Um, Sunday, the day to close the vlog off. I'm heading into my mum's. No guesses who we're waiting for. Um, I've just got in and we've got 15 miles of petrol left in the car. Oh God. So cold, wet, five degrees. Um, nothing, ha oh yeah, something is happening. We got an email yesterday from school to say someone within the school setting tested positive for COVID. We got another one today to say it's someone on the bus. Now we'd kept Isaac off the bus since um, the last palaver, but when we went back in the new year, he started going back on the bus. Someone, so he's been in school three days and someone on the bus, but we don't know if he's a close contact yet. We have to wait to be informed. And tomorrow he's back at school. So if nobody tells us by tomorrow, um, you know what I mean? He's going to be going to school with all the other kids on the bus. 
whether or not it's a close contact, everyone, you know, how we're supposed to know, it's just, it's a shambles. And with this new roller bite, you don't have to take a PCR, you only have to take a lateral flow. Um, it's just, oh, we've done a lateral flow on Isaac today and it's clear. Becky and Rob both have it. Well, she had it, so he's back. Yeah. yeah, they both took, had negative, or positive PCRs on Friday. Nearly lost the dobby there. Oh, um, Couldn't find her. Where was she? Um, I ain't even finished getting my stuff together and she'd made her bed under the red blanket cooked up on your best cushion. Under my... Under the red blanket on top of the cushion pressed up against your best cushion she made a little nest. I bet you left her there didn't you? Yeah, she didn't even wait till I'd gone. Yeah she's on my good bloody back <laughs> cushion and there's 15 miles of petrol in the car thank you. This is getting to be a bit of a flipping habit. Can you decide which one of those three masks you're using and chuck the other two in the bin? <clears throat> right, Petrol, mums. I fought my mum to make sure she wanted us in, but I have to keep Isaac up the far end of the room. I don't think he's going to be a close Keep him in the for I like it. me remembering to sign out so I'm just about to get ready to go to bed have a wash to put my hair back because that gets in the way of everything um yes so still no word from school as to I'm looking at the wrong side as to whether Isaac's a close contact I don't know if I told you I've got an email to set up someone on the bus there goes my hairband um so I'm assuming that he's not you would think it could send like something either way because the bus isn't a big bus you know what i mean so isaac will be going to school tomorrow we've been doing lateral flows morning and evening to make sure and he's all negative at the minute no symptoms so fingers crossed he hasn't caught it but it's only a matter of time the way schools are dealing with this at the minute so yeah i remember to sign on to sign off folks um i can't think of anything else to tell you um my dad's not well again he's having a real issue with the weather as well and his pains and he's exhausted he's not sleeping and our doctor have this thing where you have to be up at half past eight in the morning to call um and neither him nor my mum are able to get up at half eight in the morning my mum's trying to get him some amitriptyline which i'm on and my mum's on to help with sleep but they won't give it unless they speak to him and he won't phone to get it so it's a pain in the arse so yeah same old same old i'm just about to go to bed um I'll have a wash. I'm not having a shower. I just showered. I cannot be bothered. I'll wash my face and under my arms and that'll do me. I'm just feeling lazy and then I'm going to go to bed. Um, so yeah, I shall check in with you guys next week. This, I almost feel like hitting the last two weeks vlogs on the head because they're so boring and so dull. I'm not saying that any of the others are particularly exciting, but this past two weeks has been so boring. It's like, why? when I edit them, I'm obviously like, you know what, I'm not even putting these up because this is crap. But it's that thing when you've got COVID, the COVID thing, you can't go anywhere. I mean, we can't even go to the cinema because there's nothing we haven't seen. There's a couple I haven't seen, but they're showing in Antrim. Um, so I could really go up on an evening, but at the minute I'm so sore and tired that I just, the thought of leaving the house on an evening to go up, I just, ugh. I'm waiting on delivery of Assassin's Creed Valhalla. I bought it off someone on eBay for 20 quid and I said a PS5 version so I'm well, well obviously it wasn't made when PS5 came out I don't know what difference it'll be to the PS4 but the guy I bought well I'm assuming a guy that's sexist it might be a girl said it was amazing said it was their favorite so I'm really looking forward to it so it hasn't arrived yet I've finished the main story for Assassin's Creed Odyssey but there's all these little side quests and stuff that I can be doing until I don't want to move on to Ghost of Tsushima until I've played Assassin's Creed Valhalla because I don't want to forget all, all the like moves and stuff. It's like ingrained in my head right now. The main one I'm looking forward to at the minute is God of War is coming out. I think it's called Ragnarok is coming out this year, which I'm really looking forward to. Isaac broke his new headset, his new gaming headset that my parents bought him for Christmas. Um, So he hasn't had that. 25th of December, we're now on like something like the 11th, 9th. So it's in the first couple of weeks of January and it's broken it. So he has to replace it. He lost a tooth last night, so he got a fiver off me for that. He got seven quid off me mum, so that was 12 quid towards it. 
So I said, I'm not replacing it this time. That's three headsets he's had now and three headsets he's broken. So I said, you can replace it with your own money. You have more flipping money than I do. So yeah, he sat, the little sod sat with like 110 quid or something that he got for Christmas just to spend on whatever. It's like, well, I've got, my parents give us money as well, but Darren's keeping his for a tattoo, I think. And um, I want to get my tattoo here and I'm still debating, still debating what to do. I might speak to the tattoo artist and see if he can give me any ideas um but it has to be something it has to be something that means something you know what i mean but i might just get a a like design done just for me that's bourgeois road car premiere the rubber ducky's not oh no it's too late to watch that it's um somebody i'm subscribed to on youtube uh i'll not even tell you i'm not even you're not interested and i've completely forgotten what i was saying i got distracted it's gone. Whatever it was, it's gone. I'm sure it wasn't very interesting. So I think that's it to tell you. Um, so um, yeah, I'll catch up with you guys next week. Over and out. I'm Kit and Caboodle.